So, you have better than execution and you can't see the person who's being hanged? This machine is even higher for the world to see. Plus, while he's up there, he gets a great view of the land. It can also be used as a crane to lift up heavy materials from low distances up to high uh, places. Okay, uh, our design brief here. Um, so our client company here is Mr. Herman School of Genius. Our target consumer for is for uh, parents. If you want to uh, have a uh, have this as a toy, which we do make a smaller version, but for large scale events, we can sell it to uh, other people. Our lead engineers here were Sarah, Brady, and myself, and we thought to lift a one kilogram weight as the toy version, as you can see here on the table, but uh, that is just a uh, scale, and being on the bigger size, it will be able to lift up to 110 kilograms. Uh, our design, uh, we used a wheel and axle, pulleys, and a chain system, a chain and sprocket system to increase our mechanical advantages throughout both uh, AMAs and IMAs. Uh, our, we needed, oh, we needed a single applied effort force from one human output, uh, and our compound machine must be able to lift a certain amount of weight, here one kilogram, or in the toy version, one kilogram. And uh, we believe we created what we need to. Alright. Uh, so, when we were brainstorming, we kind of came up with a bunch of different ideas. Some of them were like a wheel and axle that lifted the weight, and then also a wheel and axle that pulled a pulley down, which also connected to a couple other pulleys and lifted the weight. But eventually, we kind of um, made more of a sound design of the sprocket and some chains and some pulleys. So, <clears throat> for our entire machine, we ended up getting a pretty good score for, we had very little friction. Um, it did take a while to do since we had we ran into a couple of troubles at times, but mostly with the strings getting caught in each other. Um, efficiency is pretty it's pretty well efficient considering there's hardly we don't have to use much force to lift it, and there's hardly any friction, so nothing's going to be delayed. Okay, here's our video of the chain crane in action. Oops. As you can see, even though we have, have used very little uh, uh, things here throughout, we ended up having to, you as we've gone through, our gear ratio made it so we didn't lift it as fast or as easy, but it or as fast, but it did make it a very easy machine and very efficient machine. And we ended up pulling it slowly, but it does go up. Okay, um, for our wheel and axle, our IMA for uh, was the radius of the wheel, which is this big one here, and our radius of our axle, which is the small gear on the end, which, as it ended up gaining, it ended up being a 2.56 IMA. For our, oh, yeah, go right. okay. for our gear ratio on this chain and sprocket, it would be 2.7, because we have a big one turning the small, or the small one turning the big one. For our second wheel and axle, we had uh, a bigger gear or a bigger wheel turning a smaller axle to turn another sprocket. So we had another IMA of 1.6. And uh, so we had another sprocket, chain of sprocket. Uh, and the IMA was 1.8, right in gear ratio. 
Okay, our final was the third wheel and axle, which we used to pull the weight up through uh, wrapping it around here. And that AIMA ended up being 1.925. And then our movable pulley was our absolute final piece, which since a movable pulley only has an IMA of 2, our IMA was equal to 2. So here are some of our final calculations. Uh, our compound IMA ended up being uh, 70, that's wrong for some reason, ended up being 115. Uh, and our final uh, actual mechanical advantage ended up being 67 and a half. And once you divided those together, we ended up having a 59% efficiency rating. Thank you very much.